before you know. Good morning, everyone. So for today's video, I am going to be doing the much-awaited beauty organization purge extreme cleaning videos that I have been promising you guys for weeks now. Now to kick this video off, I wanna show you guys the massive difference in my office so you guys will see what this video will entail. So I'm gonna include the before of my office here. And then of course, here's the after. Big difference, I know. <laughs> I'm really excited about my office. I feel like I can finally move around in my office and things are where they need to be. Before we jump into the bulk of the video, I know this video is gonna be so long. Whoa. I had a couple points that I wanted to cover because I know this video will get some comments on it or questions, anything like that. So hopefully I hit some of them that I think I will be getting a lot of. Number one, this was, like I mentioned, a process. I ended up doing this over several days. So you'll actually see in this video, I'm wearing different things, I'm my hair is different, I'm wearing different makeup. I think if I sat down and tried to do it at once, I would have been way too overwhelmed. So that kind of worked in my favor. Now another thing is, is that I feel like my office is always a work in progress. You'll probably notice in my videos, things always kind of move around. And while I have the layout and pretty much the organization of my office set, I'll definitely probably still change some design elements in this office, only because I think it's more interesting for you guys to see me in different backgrounds, like have it be more dynamic behind me. Number three is a lot of you guys had mentioned to me checking out Marie Kondo and her method of organizing. I just organized it how I would typically organize. <laughs> I know I'm never gonna be a minimalist when it comes to these types of things because this is my job, so my job does centralize around beauty products and makeup and things like that, so I'm never gonna have like one blush or one foundation, and I'm perfectly fine with that. The whole purpose of this video is really just to consolidate it all, get rid of the stuff I wasn't going to use or wasn't interested in using, and yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. <laughs> okay, and then another thing, I'm sorry guys, I know I'm covering a lot of things and this might be quite the intro. Fear not, because I know some of you guys are concerned with this, is that I will be holding some giveaways, so be sure to subscribe and follow me on my social media, which I always link down below to get updates on when I do giveaways. I've got some pretty cool giveaways coming up with some awesome products I know you guys will be super excited about. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I am doing an office renovation. So today, all this stuff from Ikea is coming. Evidently, I was told we're gonna get like 31 or 32 boxes. It is a mess in here. Our apartment right now is a wreck. Mr. Honey is moving some of the pieces in because he's really the one who's gonna have to help me build this bit. Are we seeing what a mess this is? Which we actually have pretty tall ceilings in here, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Here are all my drawers, <laughs> which are built. We have like stuff everywhere. Like look at this. My computers here, my signs over there, office stuff here, boxes here, boxes there. Oh my gosh. It's getting crazy. So it is the next morning. Mr. Honey and I stayed up pretty late to get most of it built, at least the outsides, and he installed the lights at the top. We have the glass ones at the top because I just thought that looked nice, but for the most part, I wanted to hide mess. And then we have the lights at the top, which Michael put in. So yeah. Have this feeling, haven't felt for so long. So the first order of business for me was to pick up the floor. So basically I just ran a vacuum over the carpet and also the baseboards. And then I decided I needed to spot clean this carpet because it's white so it shows a lot of the stains or whatever I drop. So basically how I do it is I just take some soap in hot water and I have this steam vac my sister got me for Christmas last year and I'll find a link for it on Amazon and put it down below. But I really love this thing because not only does it sanitize my hardwood floors but it also helps me clean my carpets. Also, sorry here, um, obviously my camera strap got in the way of the lens, but essentially what I do is I just take the steam vac and I hold it over the stain for, I don't know, like 10 seconds, and it kind of breaks up the stain and I go in with a toothbrush and my hot water soapy mixture 
and I just try to scrub it out as best as I can and I also, I use a microfiber cloth just to kind of pick up the stains, so nothing too crazy about this. Okay, so I've been sitting here kind of organizing. I actually am going to be donating a lot of stuff to the women's shelter and I'm also going to be donating it to another organization that I work closely with um, that basically puts together holiday gifts for kids who whose families can't afford um, to buy them Christmas presents. And then I pull some stuff out for giveaways for you guys, as well as some stuff that maybe my friends or family would be interested in. So I have a lot of categories. I'm trying to be somewhat organized. I have a lot of stuff to go through. This is just stuff I had already pulled out. So I haven't even started pulling stuff out of my storage yet, and I'm gonna do like a really hard clean this year. I wanna get rid of like a lot of stuff and just give it away um, because I don't need it all and I don't want it to go to waste. Okay, so I have decided I'm gonna start with lipsticks in my collection because I feel like that's a good way to start. So I'm also really excited about these guys here. I ordered a bunch of these from YesStyle. I ordered four of them because they have one, two, three, 24 slots in these. So four times 24, what is that? 96, but yeah. I'm really excited about these. These are gonna like make my drawer look nice. But actually, I'll show you guys what it looks like now because kind of my goal is I have two makeup containers that I kept my makeup in and stored them for a while. I wanna get rid of them because they're taking up way too much room in my office. I feel like I can use that room. And then I have these built, like kind of built-in things that um, were put in here a couple months ago that I think has, they have plenty of room. I'm just not utilizing the room correctly. So I need to actually empty out that drawer. <laughs> empty out the lipstick drawer and then go from there. So my lipsticks are in that top drawer underneath that printer and then as you can see what I have been doing which is terrible um, I've just been like so as you can see there's like an empty space whenever I use a lipstick I'll just like throw it in like that yeah this is definitely n whoa I need to deal with this um, okay, wow, that's like a jumble of a drawer there, but the easiest way for me to comprehend this type of mess and organize it is to just empty it out and start from scratch. So I did that with both drawers, and this organizer actually, I had made it like five, six years ago, so it was definitely time for a new system, so I just took all the lipsticks out and put it on the floor, and for me it's easier just visually to see what I have and to see the amount of stuff I had, that poor organizer, it went in the recycler after I took it out. But the acrylic organizers were nice because I could kind of put like lipsticks together. So that was what I first did. I took the lipsticks that were the same and kind of put them together. And I also had some just like nostalgic lipsticks I wanted to keep. I don't necessarily use them, but I don't want to get rid of them yet. And yeah, so I just categorized them to the best of my ability, whether it was like sizes like that or was the same brand, or the same lipstick but different colors, whatever it was, and I just put them in the organizers and kept them together. So at least this way, I could have a better idea of what I had. During this process, I did my best to weed out some of the lipsticks and lip products I knew I wasn't gonna use. If they were new, I was able to donate them, and if I had used them or swatched them, and they were still good, I would try to give them to friends or family. I wanted to tackle my beauty samples drawer because this thing was just getting out of hand. And if you've ever ordered from Korean beauty websites, you know that they're pretty generous with their samples. And I don't even travel this much to have this many samples, so it was time to weed through them. I basically kept what I wanted to keep within reason. I got rid of the expired ones if there were any. Luckily, there weren't a ton. And then with the other half, I'm going to be donating them and sending them to this organization called Project Beauty Share. And they're an organization that provides cosmetic beauty and hygiene products to women in situations of abuse or domestic violence or homelessness or poverty so I will put their link down below in case you guys want to check them out as well and see what else they accept I think it's always great to support these type of organizations okay so it is a new day I think the last time you guys saw me I was organizing my lipstick drawer which I'll show you guys what it looks like it's better um, but the thing that I'm running into is that I need to free up some space in my wardrobe system before I start moving stuff over because what I've been doing is just dumping stuff into these big bins I've got from YesStyle, which I'll link those down below if you guys want to pick up the same bins and organizers I'm going to be showing. Um, but I need to free up some space first. So I'm just going to take everything out as far as skincare goes 
sort them by the category, meaning like moisturizers, eye creams, face cleansers, toners, etc. And then decide what I want to keep, what I want to donate, what I want to give away. And yeah, so that's going to be <laughs> my new approach. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that plane. I get a lot of PR packages. So what I do is I hold on to boxes like this. So these are like sturdier boxes that products came in. I obviously take the products out and deal with them. Before I buy a bunch of like little organizers like this, I kind of test it out with these to see if I like them before I commit to like a long-term purchase. And then I also got this package from Dr. Jart, which I emptied out the products already, but it had a bunch of like the modeling masks and stuff, which we're really excited about. And so maybe I'll share those with you guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and first dump out these drawers. So I knew I had a lot of products. This is definitely more than I thought I had. I think I have more in the bathroom too. That's a big pile. <laughs> That's just skincare. I haven't even dumped out these drawers yet. Once I had everything dumped out and on the floor, I was able to look at everything, touch everything, decide if I really wanted to keep it or if I was gonna donate or give it away. And also through this process, I decided to kind of sort them in categories. That way it was more digestible for me to look at the different types of products I had and decide what to do with them. Okay. So I kind of got these sorted. I'll just show you guys really quickly what's going on here. Already, as you can see, pulled out a ton of products in this bin. Here, um, products that I'm willing to part with right off the bat. These are either like not my skin type, not designed for what I'm looking for, um, or just products that I guess I've tried and just not interested in. Um, those went in there. So those will be giveaway, donations, like whatever I decide to do. This little section here is like cleansers. I've got toners here. These are like pre-cleansers, mists, makeup removers. These are all essences. This little L shape here is all moisturizers and this is way too much. Like I don't need that many moisturizers. Um, these are oils and serums here. Masks are over here, which I'm gonna do kind of separately because I've got like sheet masks and stuff. Now what I'm gonna attempt to do is as I'm putting them back in, I'm gonna keep them sorted in their categories just so I know what I have. I'm also gonna double check the expiration dates on these just to make sure if there's anything that I need to use or need to figure out right away, that will get pulled. I'll also pull out duplicates because I can just see looking at some of these piles, I have some duplicates in here that I don't need that I could share easily. And I'm also going to just one more time over again. Um, I'm gonna try and narrow this down because this is still way more than I'm comfortable with keeping. So I'm making some headway. <laughs> Sorry, talking with my mouth full. Making some headway. Um, I got most of it put back in that I'm planning on keeping and then I weeded out a lot more products. Um, so this is what the drawer looks like so far. So as you can see, I was able to empty out this one and then most of this one. Those are like sheet masks in there that I need to deal with. Um, but I am going to be putting some of the sunscreen products. I was just checking the expiration dates on these. I think these are all good. And then this here is, like you can see, this bin is like completely full with products that I am going to either, like I keep saying a thousand times, um, donating or giving away. So also here's my snack. I love cherry tomatoes like this. Hmm. Yummy. Yay! Okay, guys. Sorry, I saw food in my mouth. What am I doing? <laughs> Everything in here is something that I want to try or I have an intention for. So, super happy about that. And look at all this space I free up for other products and things. So, I need to basically do the same thing with all of my sheet masks. Now, if you're an avid sheet mask user like I am, this might be something you can sympathize with. I have a ton of sheet masks because I try them, I love them, I enjoy them. There's always cool ones coming out. So they do expire though and I go through periods where I'm more avid about my use and then other periods where I just don't use them as much. So right now I'm going to take all the sheet masks out and basically do exactly what I did here and sort them if they need to be sorted and also check expiration dates on them and then if they need to be used, put them in a used pile like I did with my skincare products. Yay, I'm like feeling really good. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but I keep my sheet masks in a bunch of different locations around my home. So there were some in the bathroom, there were some in my office, there were some in the bedroom. So I just dumped them into a big pile. And this whole thing was definitely a learning experience for me because this is something I definitely hoard for lack of a better term and given I do get sent a lot of these so it's not like I'm wasting a ton of money on them but I could have done a better job at giving them away or trying to use them because as you're going to see in a couple clips I did have a lot of these that were not good anymore now since they weren't ridiculously expired I will still use them on like my body or my feet so they won't just go to waste and I also want to point out I found a butt mask <laughs> I didn't even know I had this I didn't even know this was a thing <laughs> So hopefully you can hear me because I snapped my road mic. <laughs> Look how funny this is. I just found this when I was going through my sheet masks. <laughs> yeah, do you guys have products like this that you just get and you hold on to and you're like, ah, there's no way I can use it, so there's no way I can get rid of it? This is kind of funny. I was like, oh my gosh, I still have this. <laughs> so here are the sheet masks that are all good to use that are still not expired and then all of these were expired that's a good like probably like 30 sheet masks 40 sheet masks so need to be better about this i'll use them somewhere else just not on my face but it is a little disappointing and i'm like oh morgan why <laughs> I wanna show you guys one more PR package because I'm really excited about this and I was saving it to show you guys because it's so cute and I'm actually about to like lose the sunlight so I might have to call it quits for the day but I got this super cute package from Jill Stewart. I guess I should show you before I start pulling it out. This is the Lip Blossom and wait till you guys see this. It has my name on it. Jill Stewart always kills it with the packaging. How cute, that's so precious. We interrupt this video for an important message. Now I mentioned to you guys, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, so here's the details for that giveaway. Now for this giveaway, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite skincare products and just skincare products I thought you guys would be interested in. So in this giveaway, there's gonna be the Dr. Jart Shake and Shot, the Shuwi Mora Ultime Cleansing Oil, another Dr. Jart rubber mask, the Etude House Lovely Etty hairband, and then also this little kit from DHC. So here are the details for the giveaway, and yeah, enjoy. Okay, so this was actually a new day, and on this particular day, I decided to deal with what I refer to as my bases. So this includes products like primers, or sunscreens, or anything like that, so, First with my bases, I just went through and got rid of ones that just weren't suited for my skin types or ones that I didn't care about. Checked the expiration dates as well as swatched and tried some ones that were just sitting in the drawer <laughs> and I didn't even know if I was interested in them. So I sat there and did that and I put them back into the box standing up and I've had this box for several years now. So that shows you sometimes when you get packages, definitely look at them and see if you can reuse them in other places around your house for organization purposes. Now when it came to my sunscreens, I had a bunch of open and partially used sunscreens. So the way I organized them is I put the most used sunscreens towards the front. That way I would kind of work my way through them and use up the bottles versus just having a bunch of open sunscreens, which is not a good thing. So I'm gonna try to be better about using up my full bottles of products and that was just a way that I could organize them so that I'd be able to do so. After that, I moved on to my powders and I must have had a powder explode or something because a lot of my products were messy. So I took this opportunity to wipe a lot of my powder products clean. And again, just go through and see if I wanted to keep them, check the expiration dates. And if I had powders, which I actually had quite a few that I had used and I just didn't quite enjoy, I again, donated them, got rid of them, decided what to do, but there's really no need for me to keep products like that and like something like this, I used it once and just decided it wasn't for me. Okay, so it is another day. My goal for today is actually to finish getting my makeup from the storage units I have on this side of the wall, the one you're sitting on, to the storage unit behind me. Now I've got most of, you can actually see, ooh, it looks so much nicer. Um, I have my lip products in there, concealers, primers, and sunscreens and some skincare that I do daily. And I kind of started slash finished that towards the end of the night last night. It got kind of dark, so I stopped filming so I could wait for the daytime. And I kind of left the difficult things <laughs> 
for last when it comes to this part. So I'm moving on to my foundations and my foundations I have a ton of and I think to be frankly honest I'm gonna end up throwing some of them away because they just got old. Wish me luck. <laughs> so here's the drawer. Let's see. Wowie. Like I even have cushions up here because they wouldn't fit in my cushion drawer, which is the next one, which is also gonna be another doozy. So here were my foundations that I decided to keep. I also separated them from the BB creams to make sure I wanted to keep those. And then moving on to the cushion foundations. Now this drawer was also quite a wreck because I had some really, really shamefully old cushions in there that I either kept for the package or just because I wanted to keep it. So this was a great opportunity for me to really thin this out a bit. Now the first order of business for me was to replace some of the cartridges in my cushion foundations. I only replaced obviously the ones I had the replacements for and the ones I wanted to keep. If I didn't want to keep them, I just donated them because they're still brand new. And yeah, so I went through and replaced those. Next I went through cushions I hadn't even tried yet that were brand new and kind of put them towards the front of my collection so I would know that I had those to try. And then I just had some really old cushions and to be honest I keep these because I like to reference them and show them in videos if I ever talk about them but I just decided it was time to let a lot of these go because they were just gross and expired so I decided to recycle a lot of these. Now for the rest of the ones I wanted to keep, I wiped them clean and I also took out the air puffs so I could wash them all. So through this whole process, at the end of the day, I was going to have nice, fresh, clean cushions. So I was really excited about that. And I'm also gonna show you how I clean air puffs because I get a lot of questions about this and I pretty much use air puffs solely to apply my foundation, even if I'm not using cushion foundation. And I also like to have a fresh air puff every time I apply my foundation. So to show you guys how I wash them, I'm gonna be using this brush shampoo from Sigma. And honestly, I'm just using this because I have it. Usually I use just typical bar soap. So when I travel, I actually save the bar soap from hotels and I'll use those to clean my air puffs. Nothing too fancy or crazy. I just kind of use whatever I have that will get my air puffs clean. And you know that I thought of those you guys who like mildly satisfying videos of cleaning, so this is for you guys. Ooh. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm so excited as to how this side has turned out. I think I pretty much got it how I like it. So I'll just go drawer by drawer and tell you guys kind of like my reasoning and then we're gonna move on to my blush products. Um, that's gonna be another doozy. This is basically like all the lipsticks that I have that I'm using, or not using, but just wanna keep or you know, that I like. Um, so that's how I have those organized. These are like my daily skincare products. Um, in this box, I actually have a bunch of old MAC products I need to take back to MAC to recycle, but they're just in there for the time being to get them away. And then in here, I have just more lip products and obviously not the most functional spot for them. <laughs> but um, if I need to get anything from here, I can either just lift the whole thing out or, you know, whatever, but that's fine with me. I don't really mind that. The next here is this, this is all the face products and this looks so much better. Like I'm so happy about this. I have all of my base slash sunscreens in here. These are open ones or ones I need to use. I have powders down here. I have concealers here. My cushions fit so beautifully in here. I love this. I've got some clean air puffs here that I use just daily. Concealer pots, just sponges, <laughs> obviously dirty. Um, and then foundations. So those are all the foundations, BB creams, etc. I went through and got rid of the old foundations, so I don't have any old foundations in there, which is exciting. And then down here, this is actually not um, like makeup, this is skincare stuff, but this is just kind of like um, surplus skincare or just skincare that I am using or like I have a, a video idea for, I have like an intention for. Um, and then I just have like my extra, extra sheet masks back here. And then we're still filling up this side. And then I have, dun, 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 oh, this drawer is like heavy. Like this baby feels like it's gonna snap in half any second. So time to empty this out. Like 
When it comes to blush products, I definitely have my favorites. So it was pretty easy for me to just go ahead and get rid of like the old products that I'd had for years and some of the more love products that I basically just kept again for reference sake for my videos, but I had some that were just expired. I've had them for several years and they just needed to go. While I was doing this, I also took the time to clean up the products, especially these NARS ones, because these get messy. And then after that, I moved down a drawer to work on my eyebrow, primer, and mascara drawer. Okay, so I weeded through a lot of my eyebrow products, and this is like my the mascaras and stuff I'm using at the moment, slash primers. Um, these are all new mascaras and stuff, and the reason that I keep these is just as backup. Um, I have to change out my mascaras a lot because I have very sensitive eyes. I've talked about this like a thousand times, which is why I have disposable spoolies as well. So this door's next. Obviously this is a wreck, and these are a bunch of single eyeshadows. I think what I'm gonna end up having to do is depot a lot of these, which I will do, which means I'll have to go through my palettes down here. And like, for example, this is my Z palette. Like looking at this one up here, that one's one from VDL that I've had for quite some time that I've been um, sad to get rid of because they don't have they discontinue that shade and I love that shade for the longest time so I'll have to go through there and get rid of shadows like that and like I could say like all of these I could probably get rid of because these are old. So it's kind of a double whammy basically what I've been doing this whole time but um, yeah let's get into it and start emptying this out. Also really quick I have to ask you guys something because I have a ton of these like empty eyeshadow pots. What do you guys do with them? now? I am probably going to recycle these. Um, I think I don't need them anymore. I've held on to them just in case I did need them or I needed to, I don't know, I wanted to stick one of these back in there, but I think I'm about ready to part with them. But um, yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts on these, if you guys keep these as well. Like, look how many of these I have. Oh my goodness. I did end up depotting some shadows, so I wanted to show you guys that process. And of course, first I had to free up some space in my Z palette. Now these were shadows I was sent, and again, I was sent these like years ago. This one expired in 2014, whoa. So those unfortunately went in the trash. Now this is a pretty cool thing about a lot of Korean beauty brands that I really appreciate, is they make depotting their shadows super easy. So if you fish around in the back of a single shadow with a pin, you'll find a hole that leads straight through to the pan of the shadow. So if you just push through with a pin, it will pop that pan out. And then what I do is I just kind of peel the label off the back and then I can place it on the back of the pan of the shadow. So I still have the name of the shadow, but I'm able to consolidate into my Z palette. And these aren't magnetized to the Z palette, at least these ones from Aritam. So luckily Z palette does provide magnets. So I place those on the back. And this is a major gripe I have with the Etude House empty palettes and their single shadows is that they're not magnetized to each other. So what the heck? I don't get that Etude House. Why isn't your pan magnetized to your own eyeshadows? <laughs> but anyways, um, I had to put a magnet on the back of them to put them on my Z palette and this was better anyways because I consolidated colors I liked into one palette. I did it! Everything is put away. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what it looks like. It looks so much better. I can't wait to get rid of those other units. They're just falling apart but Okay, so these, this is the drawer that I was working on. You guys, oh, so much better. So I have like my liquid shadows here, um, my kind of like glittery eyeshadows. Honestly, I thought I'd have to get rid of more of these Shine Fix eyes, but I checked the expiration date and a lot of them are still good, so I'm excited about that. Um, blush products here. I eventually want to depot the Etude House Lovely Cookie Blushers, but until then, um, until I get a palette for them, they'll just stay there. I have my eyebrow products here, my um, like stick shadows, and my mascara primers, some bigger palettes, and then my smaller, more narrow palettes. I have the teeny tiny palettes, and then just some loose shadows I had. I have all my false lashes here, which looks so much better, and then my eyeliners. So, that looks so much better. Up top here, I just have basically like a bunch of boxes. These are really just to keep everything organized. I have random stuff in each, but um, these are because you can see the top of this drawer when I'm filming. So I kind of wanted to keep it decently neat looking, but yeah. 
Yay! And then I have like products in here which I'm intending to um, either write blog posts on or do videos with. So those are all sorted. So now the next order of business is to get those guys in the trash. They serve me well. I've had them for years. I showed them before, but they're just falling apart. So those are going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it was a big undertaking, but I'm so happy with how this space turned out. And I hope this inspires you guys to maybe organize your own spaces, make them more productive for your well-being, and also just better energy in general. As always, I will link some of the organization things that I mentioned down in the description box below in case you guys want to do the same thing. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, Comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Just watch me breaking.